Good morning and goodbye New Orleans. Right now I'm walking to New Orleans Union Terminal to catch the Sunset Limited train to head west to Texas. This is my first ever journey to Texas and needless to say, I am very excited. I arrived at the station just before boarding started and was able to see the small unattended lounge of the train station. Nothing comparable to the premium lounge I saw in DC, but enough to catch your breath. Even before I had a chance to sit down, it was time to board. As you can see, the Sunset Limited is a double decker with the dedicated sightseeing lounge. How exciting! Now with the brand new train comes a brand new problem. So this is the double decker problem and the rookie mistake I made. Anyhow, onto the woody compartment and ta-da! First look at my little room for the next 15 hours. Now, as soon as I entered, I noticed a major difference from the previous Crescent train that I took from DC to here. In addition to the sink and a toilet, there was a dedicated luggage space on the Viewliner train. But it seems that's not the case here. And so, it'll be wise to utilize the common luggage space that we saw on the way in. Now, let's get settled in and look around the room. Here we have a closet which can be too easily opened, a sliding door that can be locked from inside, extra coat hooks, touch operated light controls on the side of the chair, the attendant button, and a reading light. Up top is another reading light for the upper bed, adjustable vent, temperature control on the other side, and an outlet below. Now, do note, some outlets cannot fit a fat charger like the one I have here. Looks like I won't be able to charge my laptop here. Good morning. My name is Thomas. I'm your train attendant all the way to LA at stops in between. You heard it right. This train goes all the way to Los Angeles. A whooping 46 hour ride. Now, I'll be getting off at San Antonio in about 15 hours since I'm trying to see as much of the country as I can. This being the Superliner train, it offers a traditional dining, which means food is cooked to order, and boom, a three-course dinner. Feel free to pause here if you'd like. Small space indeed. Lucky me it was a flat surface, otherwise I'll be in the hospital. I was trying to find where the shower was, then I came across a large vacant room. This would be the bedroom suite, supposedly large enough for four adults with the bunk upper bed. Hmm, a private toilet and a shower. Soon the train started moving, a whole minute early. And with one final look at the city of New Orleans, I was once again on my way to see part of the country that I've never seen before. Shortly after, the attendant made a run and let me know that the shower is downstairs, which is where I found another vacant room. This is the accessible bedroom which only has a sink and a toilet unlike the Viewliner model I saw on the way. This would be the shared restroom in the hallway for our car. And finally, the shower, with some amenities. Welcome to my beauty channel. Today I'll be reviewing, whoops, wrong channel. Step 1, set temperature. Step 2, push button. And watch the room get steamy. Yeah. On the way up, after a nice hot shower. Ooh, heaven. Let's take one final look at the Mississippi River. Sometime later, I decided to look around the train as well. This would be the dedicated dining car. And this, sightseeing lounge with dedicated huge windows. A perfect spot for some uh, 
photosynthesis. ね。And a terrible lighting for a selfie. And down below the lounge car is the cafe car, which offers a variety of drinks and snacks. And that muffin I just had. For sale, of course. No, this is not the Mississippi River again. <laughs> Anyhow, just an hour into the ride, the landscape started to change. How golden, right? Do you know, some lounge windows are cleaner than others, and some are tinted. And for the first time in my life, I came across this tiny station or a waiting area. And shortly after crossing the Atchafalaya River, whew, it was time for lunch. Solo diners are usually set with other people. And so. How far are you going, Ben? If you don't mind.、Um, Los Angeles. Oh, all the way. So I made a new friend. We were having a talk. Let me just say, my friend Ben was very passionate about our politics. And so, after a couple nervous laughs, it was time. Natural Angus burger with Swiss cheese. You also have the cheddar cheese option if you prefer. Let's dive right in. First bite, second bite. Hmm. Initially, the burger comes without any sauce. Still good, but with some Heinz magic. There is the approving nod, yes. Unfortunately, they ran out of zeros already, so it wasn't a perfect lunch, but still a great lunch. And don't forget to wait back at the kit. That's a lot of paper, though. <laughs> And although not a three course, lunch still comes with a dessert. Now, I was a bit distracted with the conversation that was a little more political than I would like, at least for YouTube's sake. So here's the still cut of the magnificent brownie that I forgot to take pictures of. Lafayette, Louisiana, a major stop which was still in colors of brown leaves. A few more hours later, I made my way to the lounge car again to get some work done. Huh, interesting. And by work, I mean watching other travel YouTubes to study the market and、um, improve my skills. Yeah. This is Lake Charles, which is about 40 miles away from the Texas border. And shortly after entering Texas, I came across this small town with the town population of 1,200 people. This is China. China in Jefferson County, Texas. In Kansas, we also have a town of Lebanon as well. Interesting. Now, I was already five or six hours into the ride. Sure, if I was on a plane, I'd already be on the other side of the coast, but can an airplane offer this much comfort and freedom? Hmm? Into the night and onto the personal highlight of today's train the dinner. Luckily, I was able to sit by myself this time by asking really nicely. Let us look over the three course dinner. We got two veggie options, so I'll go with the shrimp, then steak, chicken, salmon, or pasta, so I'll go with the steak. And the cheesecake to top it off. And ta da! They,、uh, they ran out of shrimp. On the bright side, the skewers were really good. Like, so good, I went back at the menu to try to memorize what it was. And while I waited for the steak, I had a small chat with the attendant who was showing off her West Coast pride. <laughs> BTS, they, like, they only like to come to LA. The Korean barbecue is better. That's what I heard. Okay. Well, well, I'm sure that's. <laughs> hmm. East Coast pride. Anyhow, ta da! Amtrak signature flat iron steak. p 
perfectly cooked to a medium, it was a thunder strike on the first bite. Literally. The steak dinner on a train is a must try. The steak was cooked to a perfection, dinner roll was crisp. Mashed potatoes were soft and in perfect harmony with the steak sauce. And veggies. Well, veggies are veggies. But the fact that I finished almost all of the veggies mean a lot. And it's not over. Oh, what a sweet way to finish the fantastic dinner. And with our culture in mind, I finished my three course dinner. And afterwards was nothing out of the ordinary. I think that was a campfire, I hope. And so, after saying my goodbye to our car attendant, I have arrived at San Antonio, Texas. I said my thank you and goodbye to the train and was on my way on foot. Now, it was around 11.30 p.m. on a Saturday and the station was right by a bunch of bars and restaurants so I figured I'll try walking. That red building in half a mile distance is my destination. The front that just cut high. You need to go to the back. Typical city nightlife problems, eh? Officer, if I may ask a question, would you say it's at this time it's okay? Yeah. To the river? Yeah. I mean, okay. they're not super dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people walking. Okay. Thank you. Be careful, okay? Thank you. There was a bridge that I had to go under, and these may be temporary Christmas lights, so your experience may be much dimmer. Oh, Have fun yeah. guys! <laughs> I was the only person walking out of the 30 or so people who got off the train. Luckily and safely, I have made it to my hotel and I will conclude my first leg of the Sunset Limited train experience here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Goodbye.